All right. Let's get some Evolving Skies packs and double our money. Mimic Brew, say it with me. Mimic Brew with the do says, love you, man, rough week, still fire for yours. Yo, thank you, bro. Thank you for the kind words. Thank you for the videos. Thank you for the coverage on that stuff. I appreciate you, man. Good stuff. What's going on, Bruise? So y'all thought scalping was a thing of the past. Y'all thought, oh, that was just because of COVID and lack of supply chain and all that stuff. No, 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 no. Thanks to the Pokemon company, some vending machines, Evolving Skies, and also Scarlet and Violet 151. So let's be honest, a year from now, two years from now, Scarlet and Violet 151 is just going to follow what Evolving Skies is doing. Huh. But yeah, so scalping is back. I don't know if it ever left, but it's definitely back. We're going to talk about that photo and how I obtained that photo in just a second. Shout out to Pokevault, by the way. The man finally got my name right. Congratulations, us. You know you made it when Pokevault, old man Sean, gets your name right. But yeah, so, so this photo, this was sent to me by a friend of mine who lives in Seattle. And yeah, so that is not a photo I got off the internet. That is a photo straight from a buddy who is what I like to call a VMP or a vending machine pirate. What is a vending machine pirate? You can probably assume what a vending machine pirate is. Well, thanks to the Pokemon company, go ahead and check your local area, guys. Go into Google and type in Pokemon Center vending machines. Maybe you did it, you know, in the last few months, maybe last year. Check again. These things are appearing everywhere in tons of different supermarkets all over the place, okay? But what, what do these vending machines provide? They provide an opportunity for the VMPs, as I like to call them, vending machine pirates, the scalpers. Okay, this is the new version of scalping. It's hitting up these vending machines, standing there for two hours straight until you withdraw every single Evolving Skies pack one at a time for $4.49. <laughs> so, so I'm going to tell you a story about my buddy in Seattle, about how he got into Pokemon cards literally last year with Scarlet and Violet era. And he went straight from Scarlet and Violet to becoming a professional vending machine pirate. So we'll talk about that in a sec. Uh, I don't know if you guys know this, but Evolving Skies is now $700 a box. Throw that up there. Uh, beginning of the year to now, it is just beep, 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 beep. So we're going to talk about vending machine pirates. I'm going to tell you about my buddy. But I'm also, as soon as I'm done telling you about my buddy... I put together a little, a little uh, mathematical, uh, we'll, we'll get to it, but the cases, one case, one freaking case of Evolving Skies is now 4175 dollars. That's right, if you want to buy six booster boxes in case form, you can save yourself 25 bucks. Yeah, yeah. So, um, obviously, that's ridiculous. This is a set that is only three years old. Oh, my God. But, okay, so here's what we're going to do. First of all, let, let's get back to this. So, this picture here, my buddy in Seattle, he gets into Pokemon in Scarlet and Violet 151 last summer, like basically everybody, right? Like all the, all the newcomers, okay? I mean, and call him a genius, call him beginner's luck, call him just doing what all the basic chads do. Goes from literally Scarlet and Violet 151 straight into raiding Pokemon Center vending machines on a weekly basis to the tune where now here we are five or six months later and the guy has amassed 450 vending machine packs of Evolving Skies. 
Now, the ETBs that you also see, there's plenty more that you can't see in this picture. But what you see in front of you is 450 vending machine packs. So he paid $450 a pack. That's well over $4,000 worth of Evolving Skies packs. So he has more or less doubled his money just by going around and being a vending machine pirate. Here's the funny thing about that. I was talking to him earlier today, and he tells me, this is what he tells me. Oh, man, I just do like 30 packs at a time. There's this Asian guy who will sit there and raid them all and go with hundreds and hundreds of packs at a time. So literally, a vending machine pirate who says he only gets 30 packs at a time is complaining about another vending machine pirate, a.k.a. his competition, who's doing like 3 to 4 to 10x what he's doing. So literally, it's gotten so bad that vending machine pirates don't even think they're vending machine pirates. They think you're only a vending machine pirate if you literally stand there for a whole hour. That's how out of control these Pokemon Center vending machine scalpers, pirates, these uh, these uh, VMPs, as I like to call them, um, that's how out of hand and competitive this is getting with these Pokemon Center vending machines. And it absolutely is also happening with Scarlet and Violet 151. But, so here, here's what I want to do. I want to see how, just check this out. Let, let, let's go here. Let me just show you what I'm talking about. So first of all, we're at $700. $700, literally, for one box. Let's do a little, let's, let's do something fun here. Why you are a moron if you open Evolving Skies? What if you purchase a god case and pull everything? That's right. I looked up the value of every single alt art, every single gold secret rare, every single rainbow secret rare, every single full art. I looked up the complete total price of everything. Like, let's say you spent $4,175 on a god case and you literally master setted the entire evolving skies set somehow okay what would that look like and how much money would you lose huh? all right let's check this out you pay four thousand one hundred and seventy five dollars for a case of six booster boxes that is seven hundred dollars per box six you got blah 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 forty two hundred okay all right, so this is theoretical. Obviously, this is theoretical. You get a factory error case. You pull all 17 all arts, including Moonbrion, valued at $1,868 for all 17 alt arts. You pull all 16 rainbow rares, valued at $200. That's how much it would cost you to go out and buy all the rainbow secret rares. You pull all 12 gold secret rares. No one cares about those. That's only 80 bucks for all 12 of those. You pull all 20 full arts. Well, guess what? That's 150 bucks, 155. You pull every single V and every single V max out of these six booster boxes, valued at a total of 50 bucks. You literally pull a master set out of this case that you spent $4,175 on, well, guess what? You pulled $2,353 of value. That's $4,175 minus $2,353, which gives you a net loss of $1,822. Bear in mind, you just had the greatest two hours of your life opening factory f god boxes, a god case, and you still lost $1,800. That is insane. That is Wizards of the Coast, Skyridge, Aquapolis, Neo Genesis, base set. That, that is commonplace for those sets. Not a modern set that's three years old? Okay, in reality, though, that was just for funsies, okay? Just to really hammer the point home. You'll really pull one to two alt arts at most, four to five rainbow or secret rares, six to eight full arts, 15 to 20 total Vs and V maxes, and even if one of those two alt arts that you might 
pull, you might not even pull two. You might not, you can easily open six booster boxes and not even pull a single alt art. I've seen it happen. Like, literally, Cool Trainer Ryan last week and opened 22 Chilling Rain boxes and only pulled like two or three alt arts or something like that. Like, it is very possible. Okay, so you pull, you know, here's what, even if you pull Moonbryon, you're still going to lose about $3,400. Now, in reality, expect to lose 4000 though, because you most likely won't pull Moonbryon. So even, even if you open six booster boxes of Evolving Skies that you dropped four grand on, you're probably not, you're probably not going to pull Moonbryon. It's just probably not. But even if you do, that changes nothing. That literally changes nothing. Even if you get it graded in a Gem Mint 10 and sell it for $1,050, which is today's going rate for a Gem Mint 10 PSA Moonbryon, you're still out thousands upon thousands of dollars. Again, this is not a Wizards of the Coast box. This is modern evolving skies. So here's the thing, guys. To anyone and everyone that is right now holding on to an Evolving Skies booster box, in my opinion, I would sell it and I would buy a raw Moonbryon. The whole point of Evolving Skies is Moonbryon, right? That's the whole point. Well, if you got one booster box for $700, I would easily, very happily trade that for Moonbryon, in my opinion, and then I'd just forget about Evolving Skies for the rest of my life because... This set is fire. This set, this set is dangerous. This is what you absolutely consider a bubble that absolutely could pop. Zelda quit whining. I love you. Okay, but you, you guys get what I'm saying. This is blasphemy. This is absolute blasphemy right here. $700 for a 1 in, what would you call it, 1 in 30? shot at a Moonbryon? 1 in 30? And even if you do, you, you know, one. let's say you open one box and you get one box magic hit Moonbryon, you're break even. That's insane. Anyway, guys, I just wanted to bring, bring I, I, I would be remiss if I didn't make a video about Evolving Skies, given the insanity that is always been you know been going on with it but lately it's just it's getting really really ridiculous the pirates are are getting better at, at raiding these pokemon center vending machines it, it it just is what it is and to be honest i given the alt art values currently i do think now is truly a good time to sell your evolving skies specifically for a Moonbryon, because maybe you can't afford a Moonbryon, but you got some Evolving Skies to sell to, to trade for it. In my opinion, I think now is the time to do that. Absolutely. Or just keep holding. Just keep holding forever. Just, just take it to your grave. Take, take your Evolving Skies box to your grave. It's not my box. And I am not a vending machine pirate. Every time, as you saw in the beginning of the video, I get cucked by my own local VNP. Deuces!